The Broncos fall to 0 and 3 on the season after a frustrating loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 28 to 10, the final on Sunday. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the Broncos post game show. I'm Phil Milani alongside Eric Galala and Sidney Jones. Eric, let's start with you. Uh, the Broncos never really in this one. No, Phil, just too many mistakes. You know, you give up six sacks, two interceptions, a blocked punt right off the bat. There's a safety. I mean, Vic Fangio keeps talking about these sequences that are hurting the Broncos, and that's what we saw again here on Sunday against the Bucks. And like you said, Phil, that just kept them from ever really being in it. And Sydney, uh, Tom Brady on the other side might have been his final game ever here in Tampa Bay, and he certainly looked like Tom Brady, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Yeah, Phil, Brady looked like the Tom Brady we all know. You know, he really didn't look that way the first two games of the season, but he looked really comfortable today. Like you said, he went – for just under 300 yards and three passing touchdowns. And it seemed like the Broncos were severely affected by Tampa's pass rush, you know, resulting in two interceptions and six sacks. And it just seemed like Tampa focused on minimizing the rushing attack for the Broncos. You know, they forced long third down situations that Denver really just couldn't overcome. Yeah, the Broncos' only touchdown of the game came right before halftime. Tim Patrick found the end zone on a seven-yard pass. But, Eric, uh, the Broncos had to bench Jeff Driscoll in this game, and we saw Brett Rippon at the end. Yeah, Phil, finally a little bit of a flash of life there at the end. Rippon started eight for eight, drove the team down the field, but he was picked off in the end zone on fourth and one. And, you know, it's just kind of a microcosm of the day. Every time it seemed like you had a little something going, whether that was a 15-yard pass to Jerry Judy, a longer pass to Noah Fant, something just went wrong. And, you know, they can't just seem to string plays together here that allow them to be successful. And I don't know if it's all on the quarterback position. Obviously, Jeff Driscoll didn't have a great day. The defense gave up a bunch of points in the first half. So they've got to figure it out here and quick because you've got a Thursday night game. You play in just a few days in New York. In New York and if you don't win that, you're looking at 0-4 for the second consecutive season. Yeah, Sydney, I was going to say, uh, what's next for this Broncos team? It's going to be a quick turnaround because they're traveling to New York on Wednesday. Yes, they're going up against the Jets on Thursday. And I think, if anything, that'll be a team they can win against. So hopefully they'll be able to get that win and move forward from there. Well, a frustrating loss here at home for the Broncos on Sunday, 28-10, to 10, the final against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Broncos fall to 0-3 on the season. That's going to do it for us. For Eric Delilah and Sidney Jones, I'm Phil Milani. This has been the Broncos Postgame Show.